Welcome back, everybody, to the 51st episode of BRB Gaming. You're here with me, Thor. And me, Stubbs. Hello. Hey. How you doing, hey. buddy? I, we haven't done just a you and me episode in like a, a really long time. I'm really excited. For freaking ever, man. <laughs> We've been so busy, you know? Like, what? when is the last time we, you, just, you and I just had like a catch up with each other episode without a guest, without like a pending huge release? December like, uh, before that? Yeah. Mid-December, November? maybe late maybe late November. I mean, we've been busy. We've yeah. been busy, busy. We had the Scott episode. I know it was before Russ. Which he was on, we recorded on January 5th. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was definitely last year. And now we're almost at the end of March. So That is nuts, man. We've had back-to-back handheld releases. We've had the, the, oh, the yeah. 2 Plus, uh, the whole thing. We had the Odin. We had the... Uh, let me see the Odin. Oh, and there the it is. Odin. There it is. Which has the lineage other, on it. Other, other handles lineage. lineage. Oh, my God. You got lineage. You madman. We're working on it. Oh, that, that doesn't look good with my green screen, but it exists. Oh, man. I'm stoked. Uh, yeah, then, give us a clean ROM. And then the Steam Deck came out. The big boy. And you just had to get one. And I you did. just had to cover it. And you I did. just had to do a live stream. And we you did. just had to not send it to me afterwards. <laughs> and you just had to not buy me one. And Gabe just <laughs> happened to not email me back. Gabe and, didn't. And nope. advance my order to quarter one. Oh, my God. Yeah, we did It'll that live fine. stream last night. That was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, I know yeah, a lot I of people too, man. Have, was, have done... The like exchanges and stuff because I did the upgrade from the 64 gigabyte sure. MMC to the 512 in NVMe mm-hmm. on the live stream, but man, mm-hmm. it was it was super easy. It was super duper easy. I loved it. Yeah, it it was uh, it was fun just to go along for the ride and not really have a lot of. I mean, I didn't know anything about the Steam Deck really. I looked up a few things, read like an article or two, yeah. but just watching you do all the testing and upgrade the SSD and seeing what it could do. Like that was all fresh to me. So it was, and I'd seen Russ's video, but Oh yeah, it was awesome. So thanks for, thanks for letting me tag along and be like, Ooh, what does this do? What does this do? Oh my gosh. Well, oh, I, I good appreciated gravy. that because, because man, I can go the, down the technology hole. You know that. Cause you, you catch it on the regular when we're just yeah. talking and yeah. you're like, Oh, Hey, I do, what's this do? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> let me tell you. And then 90 minutes later, you're going, okay, well, I'm going to let you go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you. I'm going to let you go. You have fun. (laughs) (laughs) It's oh man, fine. It's fine. I didn't need to know all that, but but I'm glad I did. And we we did that for three and a half hours. Your battery life surprisingly was not dead. I mean, it wasn't done yet. No, no. No, don't get me wrong. We we weren't like taxing the processor on it really hard. You know, we weren't doing crazy, crazy sure. stuff for a long time. But I mean, we got some switch going. We got I mean, we showed off a lot of emulation. We showed off a lot of indie games. Uh-huh. And since we were uh-huh. doing it fresh, since I was doing it from the fresh install, I didn't have any bigger games downloaded. But apparently Elden Ring works real well. So, well, I just picked up Elden Ring <laughs> <laughs> on PC on PC yesterday after watching you play with your steam deck. And I'm like, I am definitely, (laughs) well, I've been, I've been, I've been tortured Thor. I have been a tortured soul. Where do I play Elden Ring? Cause there's a lot of debate going on. Do we play it on PS five? Do you play it on Xbox or do you play it on PC? I have a 3060 TI PC, but I don't want to sit in my chair and like, it's just crampy and like, you can't really relax. I want to kick back on my couch, but then you have the whole right. debate over. Okay. The PS five technically runs it better, but if you download the PS four version, the Xbox uh, version is superior. If you want the better graphics and I, I'm too tortured mm-hmm. to perk to pick one. And so I finally, in- after watching you play <laughs> PC gaming on the steam deck from bed. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's what it's going to be. That's, that's what it where is. we're at now. That's well, you got the, is. You do have that like analysis paralysis gene. I know. I know you've been working down your ROM collection. Did yeah, you recently you said, get yeah. get rid of a bunch of Mahjong of games? Did that finally happen? All of them. Okay. All the Mahjong not games one. in your ROM collection. Not one. Okay. Not just not just that either. Pachinko. Pachinko mm-hmm. went the way the dodo. No more. No many, more pachinko. Many of the Jeopardy games. 
many of the Jeopardy games so are gone. Many Sports Jeopardy. trivia versions Not all of are them, gone. Though. Not all of them. Jeopardy Junior is there. Jeopardy uh, Junior. Uh, Jeopardy Deluxe made the cut because like there's some extra questions for a game that I will never ever play to begin with. <laughs> any of those, none of those will be played. Mm-hmm. None of them. But you'll never do it. The dream is, and you you inspire me in so many ways. You're like my muse because you're my rom muse, not my rom gnome, rom. mind you, my rom muse. No. Which, speaking of, my daughter got me this at the Dollar Tree. Get this it is away a cursed. From me. Get it away. Look at this little cursed gnome. N- no. Look, I look don't, at its I, eyes. I really don't want to look at. Look at its soulless eyes. Mm-mm. It's so. Mm-mm. Give me Rob. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I <clears throat> took inspiration because your curated ROM lists are a thing of beauty. Seeing that on the Steam Deck video, you have like a hundred <laughs> games per system. You have like six hundred ROMs total. I yeah. got down from twenty five thousand ROMs down to after my San Diego trip, down to fifty five hundred, which for me is amazing. But I want to get down to under a thousand. Yeah. Okay. Well, across the last all I- systems. The last I heard, you were down to 7,700. So the fact that you managed to get rid of another 2,200 ROMs, I'm proud yeah, of you. I'm, yeah. I'm so proud of Thank you. you. Thank you. Especially I, I wiped considering out how brutal systems. your methodology is. Yeah. Yeah. My methodology is totally fucked because I, oh, wait, I can't say fucked anymore. We, someone got so offended today when they were watching our video. Yeah, I know. You, and you can't say the words. You can't say the bad words, mm-hmm. right? Um, mm-hmm. I'll try. No, we'll, see, we'll see where yeah. we land. But I did cut down on the collections. I wiped out whole systems. Okay, um, mm-hmm. much like much like Darth Vader did with with uh, the whole thing that he was so upset. Right. Alderaan and he killed yeah. entire star systems. Alderaan, the whole thing. Yeah, uh, I decided to do away with Atari fifty two hundred because that's a pain in the ass to emulate. I did away with Atari right. seventy eight hundred because I'm like I'm not going to play those games. There's hardly any ones with retro achievements. But Atari yeah. twenty six hundred. All right, I kept. Because there, that's the start of gaming history, and it's just there for preservation's sake. Uh, Did you keep ET? And I kept, be honest. I kept ET. Well, you know, you and I were talking about having guests on who maybe we watch them play terrible video games, and I got to keep yes. some for that segment that Force we're going to do them. in the future. Yeah. Force them. Please yeah. play ET. We will make fun of you, and we'll banter about it, and you have no choice but to play them. Then we'll talk about but, like why the guest is on the show. But first, you but play when ET. We, when we bring Russ on for that, we're going to make him play like a, a four by three Super Nintendo game, like stretched out in the wrong aspect ratio, <laughs> like a good game, you know, but just <laughs> the visuals are screwed. You know, they're we just can, the wrong saturation can, <laughs> and the pixel density is just boned and just, you know, we can either do a bad game at a good resolution for you. Or we yeah. can do a good game at a bad risk. Either way, you're going to be tortured and we're going to right, watch. But you it's play our it. choice. It's not your choice. Yes. And so it's our choice. And that's a new that's a new series we're working segment, on yeah. called a new segment called uh, uh, Bad Games We Pick uh, or something <laughs> like that. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It'll be fun. We t- <laughs> Dude, on this podcast. All right. We, we we get so serious sometimes because we have these we like do. we want to cover for people. We want to do them do them right. We want to give them like two plus coverage. We want to talk about Odin. Yeah. Uh and we forget to sometimes have fun for ourselves. And for us, our pleasure is 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 others being tortured slowly. Right. And so right. we want to introduce some of that fun. Uh today on the cast, which congrats to us for our 51st episode. High five. Mm-mm. Boom. Uh, we're going to be opening some handhelds that I got in. I got a, I got a haul here from Mr. Damien Wright. Uh, thank you, sir. He gave me a great deal. You know, I recently, last time we talked, I was buying a house. Well, now I've yeah. sold a house. And so I had, I sold some of my stuff and some of my handhelds, my, some of my favorite ones to help with some of the, the expenses, what have you. So I got a stipend now. All right. A stipend. And I'm a stipend, let's, a family let's stipend. Let's call it what it is. It's a Papa fund. It's a Papa fund. Papa it's wants a Papa fund. some new toys. And yeah. I got some of that. New old and toys. So I'm getting some, some new, a couple, a, a few of these I bought back. Okay. Yes, true. Mm-hmm. But there's some new things. I don't remember what is even in this basket of goods. There's like 10 handhelds or something. Yay. Uh, and so we'll open it up I'm, together. I'm sure and, they're all ridiculous. And see. 
oh, I'm sure that, dude, look at this, look at this. Damien had put each one in like a matching gray case. So yeah, now, cause he's awesome. I recently, I said my new theme for handhelds is like a white theme or like a gray theme. And so right. he happens to have many things on my list already. Okay. All for, our, for our listeners, explain this ethos that you're you're trying to establish with your handhelds. Yeah, right. because to, you've hmm. you've specifically said that you've collected too many handhelds, right? And so you've de- you've, you've now said that you'll be Word. only be col- be collecting handhelds of a specific color, right? Is that what you said? That's what I said. All right, all right. Explain it. Here's the thinking. All right, all right. I buy too much shit. I buy too much right. stuff. Right. All right. Everything comes in so many colors. It does. Uh, I can't buy everything. Not everything. All right. And so if I figured, <laughs> don't laugh at me. Oh, I figured no. I can't buy everything. <laughs> says is, the man who this? bought what? 20 RP twos over, over no. like an eight month period. Well, well, it's more than that, but, but yeah, a couple. Are you serious? Um, oh my God. Now, mind you, all right. This is my. This I is this keeps the my. Colors were good. I needed to feel and touch each one before I could decide which one I wanted. Right. Because I have a Stubbs sickness. Stubbs is a tactile learner. You know. He wants to, I he really wants to want touch to feel it. and he I want to, to taste touch. it. You know how it feels on his skin. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have that mouth feel, okay? The mouth That's feel. the new thing these days. Is no, dude. The thing is, is that I decided if I I needed to create some parameters and limitations on myself, some checks and balances that keep right. myself from collecting everything under the sun. This happened when I used to collect physical games, all right? Mm-hmm. And it got out of control. It was a real problem for everyone who knew me. Uh, and so I decided on a theme. Starting and I let the PS5 select it for me. The PS5 right. showed up as a white system with black accents. Right. And I said, This looks horrible. I don't want this. My theme all these years, usually I buy like darker handhelds. Yeah. This is stupid. But then the Oculus came around and it was a white uh paint job with mm-hmm. some black accents. And I Talk said about the quest too, uh, right? This looks stupid, but I'll I'll do it. Uh Series S comes in white. What is going on? What's happening? Okay. Finally, with the Odin, there's the panda. And I'm like, gosh, that looks beautiful. And now it's like changed my psychology about it. And I'm reversed. Now I love seeing uh, the white on black theming. I love right. seeing like the gray theming, like the cold gray. And so I've decided two themes. I've decided a gray theme with maybe like the cold or the uh, the SNES look with the, either the pal or the American looking buttons like and the then buttons. the completely right. or the purple the red buttons, buttons right. or purple buttons or a completely black theme or I'm sorry. No, no, no. Uh, a completely white theme with like black accents, like the three fifty one P like the white three fifty one P or the Odin Panda. Right. So the, the Panda figured, coloring specifically white body, black buttons is what you're saying. Correct. The Panda coloring specifically. And I figure if I stay within those two themes, I'm probably not going to pick up every handled under the sun. And I'll have like a nice thematic uh, collection that I can put up in like a display case and look at from time to yeah. time. And then I'll co- probably purge it all like a madman and buy it back five or six times. Um, well, it's, but, it's too bad the two plus doesn't come in white, but it comes in the Super Nintendo coloring, right? I'm tortured by the two plus. You're All tortured. right. I've had every color now. Of I'm tortured. Plus. None of them match. Well, none of them match the theme. The retro color with the mm-hmm. red buttons gets pretty close. And that's the one I own and have currently. I mm-hmm. also have PCB kits, two of them on the way. All right. One in white uh, with white buttons and one in white with the black buttons to see like maybe all white would look good or gray shell with white buttons, you know, right. Um, so that's where the are madness you, uh, is with the two plus. Do you want me to take care of that for you? So you don't have any ripping troubles, ripping cable troubles. If now, if you wouldn't mind, I, uh, I'll do it. I don't say care. no. <laughs> I'll, I'll do uh, it. Shipping, sure. shipping, shipping prices are a little up right now though. There's like a whole Holy crap. They are. There's like a whole thing happening in the world. Um, the Ukrainian war and right. 
gas prices are, I've gone up all around. Uh, UPS yeah. is is charging me a lot more these days to ship. Uh, which, by the way, God, I know we don't talk politics here, but God, that's a fucked situation. And I'm very it happy is. to say I got the Ukraine bundle on itch.io and the Humble bundle. And to me, that felt like a great way to support. I highly suggest anyone uh, pick those up. I didn't. I wasn't able to get in on the itch.io, but uh, I'm I'm this far away from getting the humble bundle. Dude, so. 122 games or something like some really class act ones too. Spyro trilogy, Back for Blood on its own is sixty dollars. Right. So you know you're paying forty bucks and you're getting that. I it took me like two hours to redeem 122 games on my Steam account. It was exhausting. Whoa! How m- you redeemed all of them? Yes. Well, a few of them I already had, so I gave them to my wife to Cathonics. But uh <laughs> but uh I'm well they'll sit there and I'll forget about them and I'm not gonna redeem yeah. them. And then yeah. like where no, where are we at then? Where are we at then? All right, you know. So I, I redeem them and actually Steam flags you if you redeem too fast and like whoa, 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 whoa there, cowboy. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, you're going too fast, calm down. Come back in three hours and try again. So I had that happen a few times. You would think that Humble Bundle, since they're generating keys, right? Might maybe consider figuring out a way to make a bundle key. That would be wonderful if they did. I don't know if they will, but you can at least tie your Steam account to Humble Bundle so you can just click in Humble Bundle one by one and go down the line. And it's pretty fast. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. When, once once you get in the flow of things. Um, and I'm excited to play all those on my Steam Deck. So like all of the timing worked out well. Uh, it it helps a totally crazy situation. And all around, it's it's a good thing. Um, when, uh, when, when does your Steam Deck yeah. arrive again? Uh, we need to look at the Steam Deck calculator that you sent me earlier so I can determine that. And I'll get to that in a second. First, let me finish my madness, though. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is. Now, you told me. Now, you. Now, you. Now, you. Thor, you trickster. You said earlier trickster? that you're. That you don't. You're not in love with the Steam Deck. You like it a lot, but you don't love oh, it like really? you do the Odin. Really? You We're going to. love it like you do the Odin. We're going to bring and, up stuff that I said in DMs. Really? Really? That's what we're doing right now? Okay. Well, all right. Okay. All right. Well, no, it's fine. No, it's well, not. No, it's good. Well, you know, <laughs> I just, the moment you no. said that, my, my first brain thought, and it was very selfish, was, why are you not wrapping that up and then mailing it to me now? Because <laughs> Russ has so stuff I, I want. So I can touch why. it. I know. Because he he has that uh, that sexy retro power yeah. eye in Neo. Yeah. I know. I want so, that too. I want to get one of those too. Yeah. So here's the thing. Well, it, and it fits your little scheme that you're going for. Here's the thing. This uh, thing is so cool. It's so freaking, it's so freaking cool. It's amazing hardware. Nah. Uh, it's not, it's not there yet for me. And Why? I'm not blaming the hard, well, because of the software, because of the operating system, I'm, I'm not blaming the hardware at all. Uh, it's maybe a little too big for what I want in a handheld, but the software uh-huh. is a, it's still kind of a pain. There's a lot of tweaking. There's a lot of setting up to do. And it reminds uh-huh. me of. I'm listening. <laughs> it reminds <laughs> me of when Android handhelds didn't have touch screens, that kind of pain in the ass. You know what I'm talking about? You remember the RP2? Yeah. I remember the RP2. I remember, I remember, th- I remember handhelds. I haven't even touched before, like the A20. Just thinking about using that thing stresses me out. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's that kind of pain in the butt. It and don't get me wrong, it's not like some massive thing. It's just they chose Linux. I understand that they're using Linux for it because it's it's easy mm-hmm. and it's free and they can, you know, they can get the source code and all that kind of stuff. But uh-huh. I do- <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just <laughs> giving you a hard time i'm having fun. i know you are i know uh but i i just don't think that the operating system is polished enough for me that's yeah. all i i and i i've heard that from other outlets from other people mm-hmm. and it'll get there so it's not the hardware for you really i it's- i hope it'll get there i personally think that in the getting there that a custom firmware is what will get it there 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be, so is it going to be you? Are you are you going to give us the custom solution that we need? That we want? I mean, are you going to put Android just, on it? Like, what are you doing? I, I just got the damn thing, baby. Like, <laughs> how do you me not already minute. have? How do you not have a public release candidate out right now already? <laughs> I know that you, you just got Windows on the Odin last week, and you just made a lineage ROM for it at, in like seventy-two well, hours. Tur- oh, Turtle and I did, and we got it rooted, and we got you know. It, I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, j- no big deal. Oh, nobody knows about NBD, this yet, by yeah, the way. Yeah, nobody knows. About nobody. That, really. Nobody seems to know. We've not advertised this. I'm just blabbing all of your you your secrets right now. That's all. Um, right. But I'm I have a feeling though we are talking about it because it's right around the bend. As I have, yeah, have a feeling, it is because the confidence We're- in your eyes is shining across to me <laughs> that the lineage is coming out and people are going to be able to have something clean, something good. No, I the, what? the big thing for lineage on on the Odin is this thing called live display that comes with lineage. And it's one of my favorite things ever. And it, and it lets you uh, change the colors on your screen, which is my, my only gripe. The screens may be a little too warm for me. I want it to be a little cooler for the Odin. And if that, if that it's always one thing that drives people to do something, a massive amount of work to get one little thing they're looking for. Yeah. And that's the beauty of humanity. And that's why as a species, we're going to survive nuclear war. I want the Steam Deck to have auto configuration. I want it to boot up to your game library, not the storefront. Yeah, you know, I want it yeah. to. I want to be able to add apps from big picture mode and not have to go into desktop mode to install emulators and update them. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. And it it's just that little tweaky stuff, you know that uh, that bothers me. That's all. I still want it. Well, yeah, I want it. Yeah, soon. I mean the the power. I mean, I, need you saw, it. I was I was playing I was playing Switch games on it, like I like full speed, like um, in twenty twenty two. I mean, what? It's madness. That's insane. Switch game. Yeah. We jumped. Yeah, we 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 jumped from PS two mm-hmm. <laughs> freaking RP two plus onto the Odin with like three DS being a thing, and then we right. just jumped over PS three. And everything else, I went straight to Switch. Well, I didn't. Wii U was an afterthought. <laughs> People are going to bust my balls, but I, I have, you know, those were, were all legit backups that I have on there, right? That's why I have all For those show. games, right? Because <clears throat> I, I have all those games yeah. somewhere. You know, I know I do, but they're all legit backups. So I'm, yeah, Nintendo. I don't, I don't have any PS3 backups. That's why would I do that? That's so much. That that's so much data for one Mario game, you know? Mario pounds on your door. Thor, give me your ROMs. Also helping me. <laughs> you, get your fucking hands up. <laughs> oh, lawsuits aside, I, I bought I bought your game. I swear, Mario, I bought your fucking game. Please, please, not my family. Now, the last episode of BRB Gaming I saw was, I wasn't even on there. It was you and uh, uh, Axe and uh, Izzy Nobre, which yeah. is uh, which was, was, was cool to have Izzy on. Uh, yeah. That was a lot of fun to watch. But man, he was hitting the nail on the head with that Nintendo talk. Oh, yeah. I was we, like, we, oh, we were on sister. Nintendo for like, what, an hour and a half of a two hour episode? <laughs> it was just us. Yeah. Just. Well, they become they become they become evil. That's all it comes yeah. down to. They're just a little bit evilly, and uh, they're cute little characters. While I grew up with them, and I have so much nostalgia, um, I, I'm not the modern incarnations. I'm still loving. But I just don't want to play on Nintendo hardware anymore because balls. I do think that there is an avenue if Nintendo would consider it for them to still release hardware, right? But have it be. Uh-huh more like an open Android operating system. Cause that's basically what the switch is, is, is an Android console, right? Yeah. Um, but release something that had the play store on it, that they could install other sure. apps and games on it. It can still I be wanted, a sealed environment yeah. and you can still make it. So uh, your games, the Nintendo games can only access the high power GPU that's built into it and other yeah. Android games can't, so it can't be hacked. There is an Avenue there. They're not going to do it. <laughs> Obviously. You know, no, but, and but there is an avenue and there. Let me tell you something else. I just got into 
I've been getting into 3DS stuff yeah. because I'm getting a little, a little bit bored because we already maxed out with the Odin. Like, what's the point anymore? You, I told you I was a little bit bummed. Like, what's the point in these emulation handhelds? Yeah. Uh, Odin wins and then otherwise Steam Deck wins. Um, however, Steam yeah. Deck doesn't come in a color scheme that fits my my thing. So it's breaking my entire uh, e- e- call it, my my whole ethos. But it has some gray accents. And I bet there's well, some the, shells. I bet there's some mods we can do. I bet somebody out there is is already designed designing like a white or a, a DMG color shell for it. And but and somebody, that's what I told my brain. That's what I told my brain to allow the purchase. Okay, but I've already saved a bunch of money on car insurance by switching to Geico, right? Um, and also money on on sticking to this thing. Because I guess what guess what I didn't buy. Guess what I didn't buy. How could he released a, a V90 that that really the black beautiful one. the black v90 with mm-hmm. the satisfying sound that i like yeah uh i'm not buying it i didn't buy it because i can't so well russ brought that up during the live stream and like you pounced on it for conversation i was like he wants it so bad he wants i really it. do i watched like i watched victor um yemeni play with it i was like ah oh, it looks so good and russ and i'm like ah oh. but you know what did come in my FOMO. theme I know, but you know what did the what? Uh, the new thirty three twenty six hotness the Pow Kitty RGB ten S, which is showing up I think I, on Monday, which I'm going to do an episode on, like a review video or something, uh, and share my thoughts because that's showing their, that their only thing. option is in white. Oh, and they have that obnoxious red joystick. You know, that's I, nice. I cannot believe. That so any company has the balls to keep releasing thirty three twenty six based <laughs> handhelds, dude. I'm good I, with I, it. Odin already has one. Why not just keep releasing low end handhelds and then and then like <laughs> perfecting it until you get like the perfect little one? You know, it's a it's a small size one. Which I like. It. What the hell are you talking about? They released the RGB ten Max <laughs> and the RGB ten Max two. If they had released the RGB ten Max three with five gigahertz <laughs> and dual click sticks, then we'd be having a fucking conversation. That, when, especially if that, they put on stacked triggers. No, but no, no, the RGB ten no, S. No, no, garbage, garbage. No, 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 no. The ten S might have five gigahertz. That's the rumor. That's the rumor. Oh, okay. And so you bought something that may have five gigahertz dude, right dude they have dude it's gonna be great it's gonna be fine and if it's not then i'm gonna have fun ragging on it like that's where where is the <laughs> what is what is there gonna be to lose here all right the the, the 10 mac the max 2 looks comfortable and i love that they have that the pure white one the polar yeah, white which looks kind of cool sure but we don't need 3326 with the five inch screen because the content that it's good at doesn't look good. It's just going to get stretched. That's true. Uh, it's just too big. I want, if you're going to keep giving me 3326 and blower devices, make them smaller and smaller. And so they're just quaint and, and charming. And I can pull them out at a, at a, at a dinner party. It's because I have so many dinner parties, <laughs> a dinner, a dinner party, <laughs> a soiree. I can just pull it out at a soiree and say, Hmm. <laughs> you know, like my A30, which right. I bought this, by the way. I haven't shown this thing yet. Look at that. It's in my color scheme. Look at that. Barely. This thing's a pile of crap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage, Pow Kitty. I bought it, and then I'm like, yeah, they're going to make, you know, there's custom firmware for this, but yeah. you know what? There's not. It's so bad that actually that bad. nobody... Uh, supposedly it runs min UI like the trim UI f- custom firmware uh, and Sean Inman was talking a bit about it but mm-hmm. nobody's truly taken up the mantle because they're screen tearing this is Pow Kitty probably at its worst but it has that GBA original GBA look to it and it kind of yeah. looks it looks cool and it plays up to PS1 I was playing I Final like- Fantasy 7 on it I feel like the A20 may have been close to their worst not because it was bad hardware but because yeah. the operating system that they put on it was so garbage, you know? Yeah, this has because it was Pandora a modified trim UI. Yeah. Only I'll show I'll show this <laughs> to you. This is this on first glance mm-hmm. is not terrible. It has Welcome some light bleed, which all the units have. All right. Let's see. You pick your 
pick your thing. What am I doing here? I can't even see. No. Am I playing a game? Yeah, you're playing a game. You're doing game stuff. Doing game. Data. Oh, God. What am I happening? Tier. I'm playing open Tyrion. Well, anyways, it's fine, but I'm going to send it back to Amazon. Away it goes forever. <laughs> um, well, but I, I would much I've rather been, have a Miu Mini. Yes, I have yeah. one of those on the order. They have they have them in the AliExpress the Pow Kitty store. Yeah, I have the white one on the way. They have a Miu Mini in the in Pow Kitty store? Yes, Pow Kitty has them available right now, at least now when we're recording. Uh, in the Pow Kitty Shenzhen store specifically, and they have them on sale for like fifty eight ninety nine. So that's a pretty good deal right now for a Miu Mini. I uh, I nabbed one, I think this morning. So are you sure there, it's not like a sure. like a a pu penny or something like that? Like it's oh, it may be. I don't know for sure. We will find out. That's half the fun. It's um, half the fun. <laughs> Getting back to my, I have two rants to like get back to because we don't need to do a shit talk lightning round necessarily because this is the whole episode. Right. But Nintendo, what the hell? So I'm getting the 3D simulation. So I was going to say back to that, and or not 3D simulation, but just 3DS collecting. And uh, I picked up this SNES one, 3D mm-hmm. new 3DS XL, and it has the uh, the cold gray kind of look like the like the uh, Odin, which I'm going to probably end up getting a cold gray odin as well right um sicko yeah dual ips screens pretty sweet however yeah the dual ips is pretty damn rare isn't it apparently it really is there's only one for sale on the entire internet i could find uh and it was like 600 bucks so i i traded a note 20 uh to a user uh i can't remember his name right now um and he sent me this in return because it was around the same value, I feel like. And it's beautiful. I Seeing the IPS on a 3DS is way better than those TFT, TN screens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, better oh, colors, sure. better viewing angles. However, I am accustomed to having but. digital purchases these days. And the 3DS store apparently is being yanked from us in, in the immediate future. I, I saw that. I saw that it... Was it the 3DS and the Wii store went down? Yes. No more. And they're not down yet, but they're about to be. Uh, they be sometime before February 2023. Uh, don't start collecting digital now on these devices, basically. Yeah. You need to buy physical or you're left with no other choice but to legally hack and mod them and do other things with them, which is what I'm going to do. Which it's it's legal to hack. And it's legal to mod. Mm-hmm. And if you have your own backups, you know, then you, you should be good. Yeah. And we're going to do that. We're totally going to do that. And I'm going to get into 3DS fun guy stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's all new to me. It's 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 kind of fun to uh, learn a new thing. Same thing with Vita. That's also on my list to really get into. And PSP, I'm looking for a white PSP Go. Oh. And... I already got my white was, Vita back from Jim, which we've sent that back three or four times now to each other. Same Vita. That's fantastic. Different the prices Wii, each time. The Wii and DSi shops are down, and they've been down for a mm. couple of days, and Nintendo hasn't said anything yet. Not nothing? Nothing at all? Mm-mm. Well, well, all right. So there's not only that. When, Nintendo, you're sucking ass. That's what I'm, that's what I'm here to say. And... But getting back to my uh, neurotic limitations to save myself money, not mm-hmm. only is it theming, but it's also ability. All right. So I now now I'm saying that I really want to have devices that have five gigahertz if possible for streaming, right. have Wi-Fi at least at a minimum, if not. Right. Uh, other things like that, like creating these limitations. And so you're like, OK, does this match what I'm looking for? If not, then really dude there's no point in doing it save your money go do something else with it right and uh one of my personal limitations is it needs to at least be able to play legend of dragoon ps1 that's your starting point that's a really good that's a really really good starting point actually uh because you don't want to get like one of these crappy five dollar ambernics 
Yeah, no. Which only that plays only, NES only games. Play like, yeah, NES games, SNES, something like that. Which I've seen a you few know. of those that will play NES and SNES, but can't play Sega. Like, can't play Genesis games. What's that about? Why like is you, that? Like, this think, can only play NES. Right. But if it can I, do that, it can do other things. <laughs> it's 501, okay? It was five bucks on AliExpress, and I upgraded it with the best Nokia battery, BL5C <laughs> Nokia battery. So its battery life is insane. You actually put an upgrade in that that piece of trash? I up, Are you serious? I upgraded a $5 handheld to be like a $15 handheld. So I'm how, really stoked how much on did that. You, how much was the battery? $12 for two of them. You got two in the pack. Shh, 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 don't think too hard about this. Don't think. All right, I'm done. Don't, All right. Don't. But it matches I'm, the color scheme. So. I'm just, I'm just going to look have, over here. Here it is. I'm gonna look over here. here. You got a Steam, Steam deck. deck. Look what I got. Yeah. Look what I got. You know, um, this is the one I hand the who girls. Who do you think's happier? Um, who do you think is having the better time? You or me? Correct. You're over there tinkering, <laughs> and I have to tinker with software to get stuff to run. And every, you just you just tinker every, and tinker away. Everything with you have yours just plays everything you ever wanted it to. Mine, I have to work and work and work. You tell me what's more fun. Well, um, I mean, we, as we all know, this community never really plays games, right? Yeah, we, we tinker. Just, so, what do you do when you release? Fuck with them. What do you do when you release the master device like the Odin and the Steam Deck? You stop okay. tinkering, and then you get bummed out. Okay, and then there's no point to anything. So, we need to continue with this on the line, on the edge, handheld releases. Uh huh. So I you've used it. this term a couple times in DMs and stuff like that. Even uh, what's master the term? Handhelds, master handhelds. All right. Mm. And I, master, I actually master helds. Yeah, master held. I actually completely agree with the term. You know, I do it think seems a little that, little racy. Like I think primary handheld is the better is the more politically <laughs> correct these days. <laughs> Dear God, <laughs> primary. Hand- <laughs> that's terrible you know that that's terrible to even put that in my mind our realtor that, told us to use that phrasing instead of master really yeah well, well yeah we were at the new house we're like hey the mass master bedroom looks great she's like it's called the primary bedroom sure right i said oh fuck right 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 all right so anyways yes the the best handheld the master handheld if you will right mm-hmm. But no, I I do agree with the concept because they're in each like pricing category. There is that master handheld, you know, that one that sure that you should be going toward, you know. Uh, and with the release uh-huh. of Odin and Steam Deck, that's it's definitely there, you know. Those master handhelds definitely exist now. Before mm-hmm. everything, because of Cheeto Steve, I definitely had a, a real trade off, you know. Cheeto Steve. Cheeto Steve. <laughs> Just dust. Uh, but before he just there, sprinkles the dust as he goes. Yeah, yeah, there was just there was always that trade off. It didn't have L three R three. There wasn't five gigahertz or you know just that no. silly shit. You know. And he he didn't did he touch the Odin? Did he get his hands on the Odin? Not that I can tell. Or the That's Steam Deck. That's the problem. Cheeto Steve is the hero in the story. Is that what it is for our community? That's what it is. He's the real hero. He is the hero. Of the community because he keeps us going, man, during COVID, which we're not COVID anymore. We just call this life now. During right. life, we need fun distractions. We can't have everything be perfect. Come on. Hold things back a bit. No. Um, isn't that crazy, though? Like, we have been fighting so hard the last two years to get to this point. Uh, like, yeah. what, remember, you know, when the one device comes out, when the best device comes out. What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do so much gaming, so much gaming. It gets here. It's like, okay, are we gaming? Are we playing? No, we're We're making custom firmwares. Right. We're (laughs) We're trying to tinker and failing because there's no tinkering we had. (laughs) And, And the epiphany hit me finally, like last month. I'm like, oh, I'm not a gamer. I'm a tinkerer. Right. It's a tinkering podcast. This is a tinkering community. We're not gamers. We're not gaming. I was, 
I was explaining to my wife, like, there's a, a minimum tinker level, which is will it run Doom, you know? Right. And then and then there's like a, and then there's, but can it run Crisis at the other end? You know what I mean? Like it goes, right. like, OG on Doom the other to Crisis. End, we still need to get, well, Steam Deck is there. Runs Crisis. But it doesn't run all Switch games at 60 FPS yet. Not yet. So we have a ways to go. A ways we don't have, to go. We have a we ways to have, go. Come on, Yuzu. <laughs> we don't we don't have the right to complain, but we have a right to desire. A right to the pursuit of happiness is what you're saying. That's what the I'm here. Pursuit of happiness. And <laughs> and on that quest, sir, we still have a ways to go. We um, so I am here for it. I am all about it, but in the meantime, I'm all about that last gen. So why don't we open You're up right. some handhelds? Let's let's open them up. What do we what do we get here, here from Santa Damien? First one, square case. All right. This. Anything in the pockets? Square. Is that 280V? Uh good guess. I don't know. It is a Within Stubbs theme, 280V. Yeah. Now, <laughs> it's the only the only square one I could think of was that fucking thing. Like it, that that's it. It is. Uh you'll notice it's silver with black accents, but not that for long. Silver? No. Are you are you rebodying no. it or something? Yeah. Secura mods on the way. Don't worry. Oh, nice. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a a, a PAL SNES themed 280V soon with the Very cool. four red buttons. Or maybe it'll be uh, purple buttons. Either way, thank you, Damien. This looks fantastic. Ooh, 10 out of 10. Look at that screen protector. Uh, it is really well applied. Respect. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A millimeter slanted. Not perfectly straight up and down. I don't know if you can tell. But is there anything under it? No, it looks beautiful. Then it, it looks then great. it's better than it's then it's better than 99 out of 100 screen protectors <laughs> that you and I apply. All right. Yeah, well, purple two plus. Uh, I don't say it's my best. Uh, talk to Jim. I'll tell you, you did it. You did a good job on that switch light I bought from you too. Thank you. I spent a lot of time on my screen protectors. This is a amicably. This is a well applied screen protector, Damien. Nine out of ten. Not ten out of ten, but nine out of ten. Ten out of ten for the deal you gave me, though. Uh, um, fair enough. The battery needs to be. Battery's not charged, so. We're going to knock off 0. 0.1 points for that. Thank you. 0. 0.1. Uh, so well, 9 point that, or 8.99. 8.99 is where we're at. What is this? Oh. We have a white Pow Kitty V6. The battery. That's right. Get it, it out of here. It doubles as an 8,000 million power battery. It plays Throw NES it games. The garbage. It charges garbage. my PS5 controller. The same no. menu music. That fucking jam, man. Wait a minute. What if we did them in tandem? The same song. Stereo. Oh, got to time it right. These are garbage handhelds. But I got a great deal on they it. Are. They are. And I love, I actually, I use this more than any other handheld when I had the last one. Uh, because really? it's a great battery. Well, yeah, I don't use it to game on, but it's an. I always use it to charge like my Nvidia Shield controllers on the couch because I don't have an outlet by the couch, and I right. charge my PS5 controllers with it. I use this constantly. Thank you. Uh, that's fair. I mean, that's fair. Like, this, ten I'm out glad of 10. that it actually gets used. I I don't think it needs the NES function personally. No, it but, could just be a battery. Yeah. But I'm I'm going with the theme because my micro SD card holder that I got after you talked to me on Friday, I got a uh, <laughs> also in my theme <laughs> micro SD card holder case. Very nice. It is also a handheld. It doesn't actually turn it's on cool. or anything. It's just a picture. Right. But it's we cool. got that. Let's go. Cool. What else we What else we got here? Let's see here. Oh yes, my precious 18s is back in my hands. With is lineage. That the one that you, is that the one that you cut the posts on? Cut the posts on, and I know I, I know this left one is a millimeter one. off. You do? That's right, you do. 
The one with yeah. the correct posts? Yes, the one with the uncut posts. But yours yeah. doesn't have Vita buttons. No, because I don't need Vita buttons. Because then again, I'm not going to circumcise my console. So, Well, you know what? I circumcised my son in December, and I circumcised my <laughs> console in January. <laughs> so... <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. X18S. Back that's at a, it. It looks I, beautiful. That's mm-hmm. that's something I'm still... I don't know why I like it so much, but I still really, really like the X18S. It's one of those ones I love that... It. I'm, like, I'm starting to like it. That lineage... Well, number one, shout out to Sarah for this, but putting lineage on it really made a big difference with that handheld. Holy crap. And I kind of like the history anecdote that this is the first X18S to have the lineage. This first beta. Oh, on. was it? It was because he was team bearded into my computer, helping me like bugs, get some bug fixes figured out before he released it. And right. uh, I volunteered and like, I'm like, oh, you can just keep it. Well, I like, oh, it's already installed. You just have it. Thank you. Cool. I did subscribe to him, of course. But. Yeah. What else have we got in Damien's bag of tricks? Damien is a gentleman and I love him. Oh, look what came back to me, Thor. It's my ZPG. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I got it back. Look at that Vita stick. We just saw it on the X18S. That's right. That white with those Vita buttons. You hate me right now. I just, it's a 3D I'm just like, one. you're like, why? Why? Why would you want that back? Why? It's in the it's in the theme, man. All right. Oh. And I want to play with it and it, it runs RetroArch and it has Wi Fi and like in marked and checked enough boxes, right? So right. here we have that. You know what we have next? Actually I'm gonna save that one for last because I think you I know save what that, that one is. for All right. What's next? Here we go. Non emulation. DS light. Nice. Yeah, solid. Ooh, all pull. Are your screens light. a good are your screens good in, in good condition? Let's see. Top screen, uh, 10 out of 10. Bottom screen, uh, 10 out of 10. Yeah, these are, wow. dude, this is a, this is a clean. That sounds clean. This is a clean, and it has, I think, a transparent casing on, it does. The top and bottom oh, have a transparent casing on top. Yeah. So, this is a I really clean that, DS. I always do that for corpo handhelds is I get the clear case, whichever one exists. The only one I, w- I didn't do that for was the uh, my Vita Slim because the the clear case for them sucked because hmm. it had like hinges on it and shit. Like it, no it good. didn't clip. It sucked. This is, this is really nice. I got this just for just to see. Uh, this for shits is, and this gigs, great. but now you're in love. And, yeah, this is really, really cool. Hey man, um, DS Lite is yeah. that's a super solid console. Plays all DS games, especially if you get an R4 mm-hmm. cart, and then all GBA and Game Boy games. So yeah, you get an cool. EverDrive, or you get uh, an Easy Flash Omega with a low profile case on it, right? Yeah, and you have you have a really really solid gaming device Ready even in 2022. Yes, agreed. And with the handheld drought this year, because who knows when the P60 is going to come out? It's like July or something. Uh, like I need, I need new projects, man. Like let's, I want to dig into some stuff. My steam deck's yeah. not going to be here until we'll, we'll figure that out in the calculator in a minute, but I need some, yeah. I need some, daddy needs some projects. Uh, daddy needs some projects. Let's go. I, I need, need to tinker. it. I need to tinker. Dude. I also got, uh, my three fifty one P back. Although Amazon sent me a dud unit. Unfortunately, it just doesn't turn on, uh, for whatever freaking reason. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and I do have the that two plus retro right now, as well as my XD plus, which is not in my theme, which I just don't think I'll ever sell anyways because it's like my original love. You know, you, I thought you, you I thought can't. you loved your XD. My XD, I perhaps love even more, but uh, but you sold it. I let that go. Yeah, I let, I let that one go. The XD plus outnumbers the XD except for Saturn, where XD original totally after after destroyed. twisting. After twisting my arm and breaking my balls into getting a red XD and then gone. Gone forever. It's done? Oh. What? No. Yours is gone. Mine? 
Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I let it. I let that go before you got that red XD. I've been playing the XD plus for like six months. Yeah, I sold it to the uh, the guy I went to Alaska with. One of the guys, Matt. Oh, um, okay. He he was seeing. He's like, what are these emulators? For one, they're not called an emulator. They're an emulation device. Okay. I mean, and for tech, technically, I feel like emulator sure, would apply. Sure, I know, I know. And Wolfden is popularizing popularizing the term, and I'm getting used to it myself, and it's fine. I even put it in our keywords these days. But <laughs> that's fair. Um, but in that aside, I'm like, sir, let me introduce you to a world of wonder. And I showed him all the things that the uh, GPD XD <laughs> could do. And he's like, new world. And he's like, do you have any of these? And I'm like, yeah, I have an extra one. He's like, I want to buy it when we get back. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then he did. And he was like, this is awesome. I'm playing Mick kids on the go. Yeah. My kids keep trying to use it. And he's a McKids fan. I'm like, Thor would be your best friend. We would be buddies. That's for sure. It's a great game. What's in this case? That guess. is some kind of clamshell. I bet. Is it a clamshell? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. But it looks thick. It's your favorite. My favorite? Ah, the 351 v that's, that's a great right. one. I got a whole that's a great I got one. a whole bunch of Sakura mods for this guy. So that, that's gonna be some fun. That's gonna be Good. fun. Didn't get enough time with it. Lastly. No, that's 351V is still my probably my favorite 3326 device, I think. Yes. RGB 10S might be mine or not. We'll find oh out. My God. We'll find out in an upcoming RH <laughs> video thing that we do. Lastly, what do you think's in here? That's pretty tiny. Was this a handheld you previously owned? No. 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 That looks real tiny. Uh, what was it called? The fun key? Is it a fun key in there? I'll show you what it is. Show me. You can fucking show me. It's a fun key. Yes, that's right. Yes. It's the gray one. Look how mm, tiny! Mm, look how mm. tiny this is. It's and so it auto tiny. turns it, on. It turns it on when you turns open on when it. You right? Open it. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that teeny. Yeah. My huge hands compared. It's a cute. It plays PS One. Really? It's that so dinky little cute. thing. It's a little. It's a little thing. And I said I'd never That's do really micro cool. handhelds, but here we are. But then the Odin, <laughs> the Odin disrupted the landscape. It 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 <laughs> erupted my mind, and everything's different now. Everything's right. different. Well, you've been, I mean, you're not really normally one to talk about mods for these things, you know? I'm not. And I'm like you're, going I mean, to the next layer now. Cause I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm like good on the base thing that I wanted originally out of the hobby. Mm -hmm. Let's go deeper. Well, but then we're, I mean, we just like, oh, I'm going to go drop a hundred bucks at Sacra modding. Is that what you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. I got some oh, stuff. Man. I can't blame you, I dude. They're, they've got a great fun. shop. It's fun. Like, it's adorable. And I got a bunch of stuff there. And I don't have the handhelds to match the stuff. So now I'm now I'm uh, using a little bit of, of that uh, sweet equity from our transaction and uh, the stipend. And mm -hmm. going to pop a fund. Get some cool stuff. Pop a fund. And get, and get some stuff. And talk about it uh, mm -hmm. on our the RH YouTube and stuff like that. So thank you. That was fun. That was fun. Um, thanks for that watching me do unboxing. It had been long enough and I had forgotten what even I got. So, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's do, do the steam, steam deck calculator. calculator. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we'll, we'll put the link in the description for this, for people who, who don't know about this, who have already ordered a steam deck. So you can check this right. out. Uh, all right. So I'm on the steam deck calculator website and it looks like you, feed it some information to determine when your steam deck's going to show up. So right. Let me get my keyboard out here. All right. Model is uh, I got to think at 512. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing I need to pull up my steam library to look up my information, right? Uh, yeah. 
Okay. There's a view in Steam button so you can get the reservation time. So whoever figured this crap out was a genius, by the way. I, I still don't understand how they figured out Steam's shipping algorithm. That's crazy. Oh, I see. I fill out this form. So region mm -hmm. US, model 512, calculate reserve time, hit this button. And it gave me like a script or something. Uh, yeah, RT reserve time. So you take that and you go to Epoch Converter and get a Unix timestamp. And then you put it in the thingy. Uh, it will show a value called RT reserve time. So I just grabbed just the, the RT reserve time itself. Yeah. And then you RT, go to ah, yeah. epochconverter.com and that uh -huh. translates it into a Unix time code. And that Unix time code should let you know basically exactly when your Steam Deck will ship, when you'll get the email, I think, to order. Okay, so I dropped the time, our time into the the field that says timestamp to human date convert. Right. And I, and I converted it to Friday, July 16th, 2021 at 5.14 p.m. Okay. And 30 seconds. Yeah, so that's... That's when you Which, ordered it. That's GMT. My time zone has a different answer. 10, 14 a.m. Right. Which sounds right. Okay. And which number do I want the GMT or, or my local time? You want the RT reserve time for that page, I believe. But I mean, the answer it gives me back. Oh, do I want Greenwich mean time or do I want like PST time? Because it gave you me 514 PST. GMT. Okay. You PST, you 10, PST. 14 a.m. Yeah. All right, so I take that, and when I do what with it? I go back here. Well, you can put the you can put the reserve time in the estimator. Oh, I can. I can just it'll just yeah. figure it out for me. It's it's one oh, or the other. So if you can't figure out the reserve time, then you can use the time that you received your pre order email to uh -huh. estimate. Okay. It. Uh, initial valve estimate. Well, they gave me a quarter two is when I checked today. Your most recent pre-order estimated time. Oh, initial estimate was quarter one. Uh, most recent was quarter two. Mm -hmm. All right. Order date information after February 25th. Yes, that means come back and update your response when you get your order info. It helps everyone. When did you receive your ready to order email? I didn't. You were originally Q1? Right. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm taking the RT time now back to this original form, the Steam Deck calculator that you gave me. Mm -hmm. um, so now what do I do? Let's see. So method A, view in Steam and copy RT reserve time from the response. <laughs> Log into Steam in your browser, visit the API res reservations. Okay. Okay. Import data. Well, you should be able to, on the, the Google Doc, you should be able to paste your reserve time down in the bottom form. Were you not able to do that? Mm. Instead of in the web app, the docs.google.com. Oh, I see. All right, yeah. let me try that. Okay, where do I put it in this form, though? At the bottom. Mm -hmm. It says RT reserve time or pre-order email time. Mm hmm. No, nothing's coming up. I can't edit. The, I can't edit the Google Doc. You want to send me your. Is. You want to send me your reserve time. Yeah, let's do that. You do smart guy stuff. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. Um, 
I am stoked to get my Steam Deck though. And your your most recent pre order estimate time was Q two, right? Most recent was Q two. Yeah, they moved it to Q two. Initially, they told me Q one. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. There's it's the Romnum sister. Estimated order date Monday, March twenty first. Twenty twenty two. That's tomorrow. Abysma. You say Pepto Abysmal? No. I'm going to need it. I'm, I'm okay, so, so in, es- in- estimated order date Monday, April 4th, 2022. So two weeks from now is when it's estimating, which the estimator was right. Email. Yeah. Really? The estimator was right for me. So, but I'm, wow. I was Q1. So, like, like to the day? Down to, yeah, the, to day? the day? Yeah, to the day. So April 4th, supposedly, based on this, April 4th, I'll get an email that says, hey, maybe Steam Deck time. Uh, buy your 512 Pro $600 Steam Deck. <laughs> Which yeah. I have I have two of them on reserve. Well, I have one, and then my wife, Chthonix, has one. Do you still want the yeah. Pro? All right. Yeah. Like, you're busting my chops about the getting rid of the one that I have right now. I'm still going to buy your Pro, dude. Like, that... that- well, I was... <laughs> Well, I didn't know. I don't know if you had fallen <laughs> out of love or if you still wanted it. No, no, no. I I think that the software will get there. It's just not there yet. So not I, there yet. I you would, still want it. You still want to have it around. I would rather have our our favorite YouTuber have it to make content because I he's my he's my buddy. That's now, right. You know? He's our friend. I'm sending one to so. Mr. Russell, Mr. Russ of Retro Game Core. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. You know what? Well, maybe. Uh, we're we're working on it. We're we're working a deal. You're working out, so. out a deal. We're not going to promise anything yet, all right? We're nice guys, but we're not saints. We st- <laughs> I'm not in this for free, okay? All right. I, I may have produced 51 <laughs> episodes without getting a fucking dollar in my pocket, but we're talking Steam Deck here, all right? We're talking Steam Deck, okay? So, do you want to talk about that? We're uh, we're at like an hour now. Do you want do you want to talk about what's coming? Because uh, we've been doing this podcast uh, for 51 episodes. Yeah, the 51 episodes. We've been doing it for uh, a year and like four months, right? So 16 months? Yeah, 16 months. We started November, or we, we started recording in October of 2020. Uh, and here we are in March of 2022, dude. That's yeah. that's nuts. We, we've had a whole cast of characters. We've had hosts come and go. We had Eames. Yeah. We had David. Or the nerdy dad. Uh, my wife Kathonix was has been in and out throughout. Uh, you and I. We had Shush, uh, Hav, and Ryan. Taki, like, Taki came in a couple times. Taki, Russ has been on a bunch guests, of times. I mean, Russ, all of our guests. Um, it feels like it feels like we've we've come a long way. I feel like this podcast has has shared the journey that we've all been on together since that Absolutely. first magical appearance of the RP2 of like, oh my God, this is something besides this a Nintendo it. product that looks right. like a Nintendo right. product that can play <laughs> all of our favorite games. And taking that and saying, uh, but we want to have it be more like a Nintendo product, a little more right. professional. What else do we got? And we went down this whole rabbit hole over 51 episodes. Uh, and now we kind of hit our, our final, like, all right, Odin, Steam Deck, freaking Miu Mini. And well, that's, uh, that's what we were talking about. The master handhelds. Plus it's, the master handhelds. It's, I, th- I think it's time that we transition what we're doing personally. I know you feel the I same think way. So, I think so too. Like you and I have been talking lately and uh, we kind of both came to a consensus on yep. what we wanted to do. And so we're going to share with you all. Uh, we are not going anywhere. However, nope. we are transitioning and this is actually the last episode of BRB gaming podcast. It is. That we feels will like, be transitioning. It does feel weird, right? Yeah. We've been doing it for like, this long. Yeah. So how? So what's we the logistics will, of that? We will be continuing podcasting 
That's going to keep happening. Correct. But we're Correct. transitioning the brand essentially, and it's going to be called RH Live, right? That's what we're doing. Yeah. So most of the time, we're going to be doing uh, live streams. We may be playing games on Twitch. Uh, yep. We're not sure yet. We're we're just going to kind of reach out and start doing yep. more live stuff to keep the community involved, especially since these handhelds, there's not as many of them coming out anymore because we don't need as many anymore. You know, we so don't want to keep the community engaged and we want to keep finding settings and tweaks and all that stuff. So we're going to be doing more live upgrades. I know you and Eames were working on a Game Boy modding video. Um, That's right. Yeah. And we're going to keep podcasting. That's still going to be there. That's going to still going to be part of our uh, bi-monthly thing. But we're going to be doing other live events. So instead of just having BRB, yeah. everything's going to be under the umbrella of RH now. So it's going to be RH Everything live. is RH. Yeah. So we're just yeah. going to drop the BRB uh, branding and the BRB podcast off Simplecast. The audio only version of what we're doing right now will no longer be showing up in your feeds. You'll just want to follow us on our YouTube. Yeah. And you you will get new episodes through our YouTube channel. Uh, they'll yeah. have video on them. <coughs> so you can, if you want to listen to audio only, great. You can use uh, uh, YouTube's uh, music player, the YouTube music, I believe, and right. still just listen to audio. Or you can just watch through YouTube and listen to audio that way. Uh, if you if you have a Twitch, uh, I believe we're setting it up. So stuff that we record, well, everything we record from now on will be, for the most part, live. So it'll drop to mm -hmm. YouTube. It'll drop to Twitch. Uh, and we, there may be a few podcast podcasting? episodes. Well, but there may be a few podcast type episodes in there where we aren't live, live, depending on what the guest needs, you know, that's so. also true. And that's a good point. Either way, it's all going to be through the YouTube and it's going to be called right. RH live. And that's, and that's fun. It's like, it's different. Well, Keeps and with that, because even though we're focused on retro handhelds, we're going to be stretching out a little bit into more modern gaming too, because of things yep. like the Odin, because of things like the Steam Deck, because a lot of these yep. handhelds are capable of playing not just retro games, not just emulated games, but also modern games now as well. So we're going to be hitting on some of that too. Yeah, we are. And it's, it's sort of like, well, you guys are called retro handhelds though. Correct. Correct. And that is always going to be our, our main love. Uh, right. But we do want to at least discuss other topics that interest us. And so there will be more and more of some other things. Uh, we're going to try new things. We might even start a whole other ideas. I don't know. Yeah. Well, mobile gaming just keeps getting more and more and more powerful. You know, I have. Right. I have an X80. This is this is a, a regular computer in my hands now. You know, in your hands. This is a real the Linux computer. Yeah. So. Nuts. Yeah. It's nuts. It's still a handheld. It's definitely still a retro handheld because emulation is wildly prevalent, prevalent on it. But it's crazy. it also has all sorts of other stuff too. And I think it would behoove us to not just focus on uh, emulation, but focus on other things too. So that's where we're going. Yep. Yep. And as we've always said, you know, emulation is magic. It's amazing. But it what is. about this whole, uh, what this FPGA, this Mister stuff? I want to, I want to talk about that. Right. I want to get into that. What is that? Right. What is what is that stuff? You know, people are talking to the community all the time. And I'm like, I got to catch up, man. I got to, I yeah. got to dive into this and well, we want to see what that's about. I'm going to keep doing live streams, obviously, when new devices come out. Yep. Uh, we may be doing a little bit more disassembly than usual. Like when the, I'm getting an analog pocket toward the end of the month, I'll be doing a live stream on that. And then the play date as well. Yep. Uh, so when those come out, we're going to be doing a little surgery and showing people what, what they're really made of, you know? Um, and I know everyone will be very excited to watch my episode about the RGB 10 S the 3326. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Device. Uh, and the greatest also, 3326, the, the master 3326, the best. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to pounce on that P60 and, and see if we can get one of those in early. <laughs> so yeah. I can, that'll be the next exciting yeah. device for me to cover. I feel like I feel so. Like. This isn't the end of an era, but the beginning of a new one, I think. And it's just going to keep getting yes. better and we're going to keep having more fun. So, yes, we want to have more giggles with all of you and each yeah. other. So we Thor love and I we are love not live stream stuff so much. Like we just <laughs> we have do. too it much fun us, with it. You know, it gets us it gets us amped a little bit more. I think it really does record sort of like how we are right now. And uh, we are not ever 
splitting apart, however. So this isn't like us saying, hey, no. Thor is going to do his videos on our channel and I'm going to do my videos, which we will be doing some solo mm-hmm. stuff, as you saw the other night. Yeah. But we are going to merge and unify and then be, do what's essential and drop sort of the extra stuff uh, mm-hmm. that doesn't get us completely stoked and energized. So what we're really saying is oh, we're going to do so we're going to fuck around some other shit. You want to come with us? <laughs> You come along, patrons, come hang, and patrons. Thank you, patrons, for being along with this journey. Yes, please let us know if it is a deal breaker for you uh, that we don't have the simple cast, the audio only episodes. That is something we could still do. It just takes some Mm -hmm. extra lifting to go ahead and convert that live stuff to get the uh, converted over to do uh, an MP3 for it. It's not a, it's not a big, it's not a big ask though. So if that makes, if that makes people happy. Uh, we can definitely mm-hmm. try to make that happen still. Otherwise, I feel like most people now are going over to the YouTube to watch the new episodes right. more and more. As that's what the metrics seem to say. And so, you know what? We're listening. We're saying, hey, let's do that and focus on that and make that the best it can possibly be right. for everybody who's a part of this and everyone who listens. So that's what I have to say. And in this special edition, I'm not just going to post a graphic with all of your patron names on, all right? No, I'm going to go into the Discord. I'm going to go into the roles. I'm going to type in patron, all right? And I'm going to call out all 40, 40 of you, which are totally covering our infrastructure costs now. We are 100% funded currently. Thank yes. you all so much to allow Seriously. us to do this. This is nuts. I am stoked every freaking day to be part of this community uh thank you 24 block acorns axron sebion Cathonix, cognitive crazy dave cryptnip damian wright deleted user who are you dogpog eames and play dog ham ham kel kel keg kel keg you changed your name on me i'm not even sure okay kel keg that's right yeah jelanimal Javier, Hav of Reset Collection, Jeff the Smith, mm-hmm. Juicy, Liquid Divide, Me038372, Mega Barracuda, Mork, Mr. Faust, Odin Bill, Dollar Bill, Pekeg, Plaidman, Flatfoot Fox, Raven Mage, Retro Game Chorus, Hatsuna Guerrero, Super Zoo, Sweet Prince Scott. Sweet that Prince guy. Scott. This guy. Thor. Oh, Patreon. Totally t- you're a patron. I wish I could be. I am. Totally Terry. Transients 8985. Voida. Volfani Bros. Webnet. Work in progress. And Whip. wonderful. You're so wonderful. To Seriously. Us. Thank you all so much for your support. It means the world to us. And we're just going to keep going harder. Because we yeah. love you guys. And we only, love the community. Only go harder from here. Uh, anything else you wanted to cover? I mean... Oh, that about does it for me, man. I mean, we've been doing this for for a while now. Fifty first episode. Good. I feel great. Yeah. I'm excited for the future. Gotta, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep doing live stuff. I'm yeah. gonna keep doing teardowns. You know. Yeah. Uh, we're having babies left and right. You know. I know. Just I got a baby on the way. Down go. Our, we're doubling down in our dadness, right? Yeah. Um, oh, I think. But uh, you oh, know what we oh, didn't do? Oh, Shout you know what we didn't out, right? do? Oh my gosh, that's right. Uh, so Cryptnip, Cryptnip, yeah, you do. Yeah, Cryptnip uh, reached out to us recently and sent us. What, what are you doing? Sent us oh, these glorious headsets. Stub doesn't have his yet, but check this out. All right, we got BRB on one side. Yes, and we got the RH logo on the other. These are custom, and uh, man, thank you so uh. much. What an awesome gift! I really appreciate it. I am so freaking stoked for those. So yeah, mine are showing up in a few days here. Mine actually, to match my theme, have white plates with the logos <laughs> he, on them. He has the white, I have the black, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so, and and that's so fitting. And I'm so stoked. Thank you for sending us such a generous gift. And I'm definitely, so how do the sound on those sound to you? They sound fantastic. I mean, they sound fantastic. Sound great. Yeah, they're made by, and the company is Roland, who's the, the parent company. And their brand right, is they, like a, uh, these are M100 IRAs, A-I-R-A. IRAs, yeah. These, these plates are replaceable, so you can get like custom 3D printed swap metal it out. plates and stuff. Yeah, 
Yeah. That's so freaking but, cool. I, but uh, these got made just for us, though. That's 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 why they're so special. I can't wait to have that. I have these <laughs> silly. Uh, these are great headphones, too, but they're not they're not ours. You know, I just, they're just <laughs> these, are our, these are ours. These are ours. Yeah. Those are ours. I'm I'm stoked. I was going to show off. Also, uh, I got sent a Retroid Pocket Dock that was 3D printed by mm. um, a, a user on our subreddit, uh, R Retroid, mm-hmm. and uh, Bell. And I was going to show that off, but uh, it's behind a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to do a little review on that somewhere on the channel and show off what that thing can do. If anyone else wants to send us wacky, weird, awesome stuff, we're going to start posting a P.O. box, a Retro Handles P.O. Mm-hmm. box that you are happy, more than welcome to send stuff to. And we, we will check it out. We'll review it we'll or I'll blow it up review it. or something. We'll blow it up. We'll, we can rate it. We can do, you know, whatever with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're starting to get into that more, branch out. I'm going to do an episode where I buy a bunch of random cheap horrible ideas from aliexpress and just like do an unboxing kind of how i did today with the damien uh, mm-hmm. packaging and that'll be fun so you tell us what do, what are you looking for in content because we're crazy enough to do it That's and true. uh with with that i think do you want me to take us out let me do it yeah you take us out well, we don't even right, need to shit talk lightning around this time you know we just kind of like vented throughout that was really nice we did uh we did once again uh stubs this is stubs for thor and i'm, I'm and thor That's you're me. thor mm-hmm. and this has been the final episode of brb gaming we won't see you next time that's so sexy. we'll see you somewhere else yeah we're <laughs> i mean this is the same place like it's completely the same, the same we're place doing, we're the same doing the same formula just it's just unifying the brand different that's a like I'll miss the theme song though. So we got a new one in the yeah. works. Jush and I are working on it. Oh yeah. I mean, oh uh, yeah. You're going to like it. You're going to love it. I guarantee it. I can't wait. See you later, everybody. <laughs> Bye guys.